Today is a very special day um, for Muslims, also here in Hong Kong. It's called Ramadan. It's not just today, it's the beginning of a whole month of fasting. I'm not a Muslim, but uh, one of my friends can explain what it is. It's the ninth month of Islamic calendar. It's Ramadan. Muslims fast on this month from sunrise to sunset. The whole day, Muslims don't eat, don't drink. Uh, we fast on this month because it's recommended in the Quran. It's one of the five pillars of Islam. And the, the reason for, for, for this is just to acknowledge the, the poor uh, and the hunger around the world and to remember for those of us who cannot eat and drink. And as I said, I'm not a Muslim, but I want to try a little bit what it feels like. I will not do the whole thing. I will not uh, do the whole uh, like month. And I also will not do the praying, which a Muslim should do as well, not just during Ramadan. I will just focus on the eating. I will not eat or drink anything when the sun is up. And I will let you know what it's like, maybe just for a few days. Um, I don't mean any disrespect. I don't want to do it just for fun. I really want to understand what it's like. And I also encourage you or anyone to be curious. If you have any questions about Ramadan, what it's like to be a Muslim, just ask us or find a Muslim friend you have. So happy Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak to our Muslim friends and see you very hungry in the next few days. All right, this is the end of my first day of fasting. It is 19.06, so 7 p.m. I'm now allowed to eat or drink. Um, for the whole day, I haven't eaten or drank anything. At like 5 a.m. I drank a little bit of water, but food, no problem so far. I was a bit hungry at like 1 or 2 p.m., but no problem, I've done it many times. But drink, this is something that kind of annoys me. Why are we not allowed to drink? I mean, I have a really big headache. Started around 3 p.m. and I keep on having a headache, probably because of dehydration. So I'm not sure how many days I will do this. Eating again, I can do, but drinking, ugh. Yeah, so let's see how long this goes. Okay, it's day five now of my fasting, of my fake Ramadan, and oh god, I have respect for Muslims. <laughs> the first three or four days were really, really hard, but now I changed my strategy, and I actually woke up before sunrise the last two days, and ate breakfast, and especially drink in the morning, and it's so much easier now. So now I think I can kind of do it. Let's see how many more days I will survive, but respect. Hi, so this is day six now of my fasting, and... Um, I thought it was going better. It was actually helping to eat in the morning before sunrise, but yesterday was tough. Just after I told you that it's getting easier, I went out on a hike in a hot 30 something degrees weather with high humidity. Oh my God, it was 5 p.m. and I was so thirsty. I was losing liters of water through my sweat. Oh my God, I almost decided to call it off and stop, but then I tortured myself for another two hours. I reached home at seven or six o'clock and then one more hour later at seven, I finally managed to drink. That was tough, so um, I'm not gonna hike anymore while fasting. That's crazy, I got a headache and, and, and dizzy. I felt I got a heat stroke, so um, maybe that was just stupid on my side. So I haven't finished yet, but I also haven't hiked today. So day six, maybe I'll do day seven as well. Let's see how long I can do it. <sighs> okay, today is day number eight, eight and I broke my fast. And day number seven, I just um, couldn't resist anymore. Well, it was not me. I blame a certain girl of a school project. Uh, if you want to see how it happened, here. Oh, it's torture. Oh, it's torture. I just want to witness when you break it. Yeah, um, but that's also okay. I planned to do it like four, five, six, seven days. So it was roughly the plan. And uh, yeah, very interesting. Um, three main things that I learned, I feel. Number one, the drinking part is so much harder than the eating part. Everyone talks about eating when it comes to fasting. But oh man, the drinking. Especially if you hike up at 35 degrees at super high humidity on a mountain. So yeah, the drinking. Uh, number two is that I thought before I started that, oh yeah, during ice projects, I've done this many times, not eat anything until the evening, even without breakfast, no problem. But I didn't realize that often when I was drinking a Coke or a coffee from a vending machine, I would actually 
have some sugar inside the drink that I didn't take. So I would have a higher blood sugar level. So even though I wouldn't eat, I'd still have some calories in it. And that makes a difference. If you don't eat and don't drink, you do feel different in the evening. So that's a thing I didn't even know about myself. And number three, I wasn't aware how much of a social function eating has. Like so many times you would have a snack together, you would have lunch together, or like yesterday on day seven, um, you would celebrate together maybe, or you have a project where everyone brings snacks along and then people want you to eat or want you to try something. So that is also something I wasn't actually aware of before. I just thought, oh, it's just about skipping, you know, lunch and stuff. And no. So yeah, overall, I would say it, um, it taught me more than I thought. I thought I could do it, and yes, I could do it, and it was getting better, actually. The only thing is that it made me, it's like a mirror, it made me see things I didn't know before. It made me realize stuff about my behavior, my everyday behavior that I didn't know. How, how often I just get some snacks, how often I just drink something. Um, yeah, and how often there's some kind of a social pressure uh, to eating. So, yeah, very interesting. Uh, but last thing I want to mention is that uh, if you're a Muslim, you would do more than just that. It's not just about fasting just for food and drinks. It's also about controlling your desires, uh, showing your willpower, being mindful, being spiritual. So all these things that I didn't really do. So real fasting is, like real Ramadan is more than that. Anyway, I'm glad for this experiment, even though it was annoying <laughs> to my friends and my girlfriend, but uh, I'm glad I've done it. I learned a lot of new things about myself and maybe I'll change my habits a little bit now that I'm aware of little things, okay? That's it. Let's see. Maybe next year I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> see you. After he break his fast, look what is he drinking. <laughs> drinking everything and eating everything. <laughs>